Yo, we got another quick video, man. We talking about some dating gems, baby, for the fellas. You know, we talking about, you know, the pretty girls. You know, the girl, the girl, the girls that everybody wants, man. You know that we all desire. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. You, yo, you ever be out and you just see a chick, you be like, damn, she cold, man. I, I do it all the time. Man. I could be anywhere. I could be in the grocery store. I could be at the gym on vacation, at the doctor's office for my doctor's appointment, the DMV. It doesn't matter, man. I see a chick, I be like, man, she cold. You know what I'm saying? She look good. Man, uh, pretty toes, hair done, man. Know how to dress, body banging. I be like, damn, she cold, boy. I might, I might have to go holler at her ass, man. But yeah, these are some of the things, though, man, those type of women know, but they'll never tell you, man, as a guy, you know. Women like that, and even for, for real, for real, women in general, they know that they control the options when it comes to the dating game. You know what I'm saying? The more attractive she is, the more men that are going to be on her line, you know, trying to pursue her, trying to court her, trying to take her out, trying to take her, you know, to pound town, whatever y'all want to call it, man, trying to be with her, you know? So once you know that, you can use that to your advantage. You know, you start to realize, you know, she may, it may be other dudes, that are in another bracket that you are not in that are on her line. You know what I'm saying? I had to realize that too. You know, yes, I may be successful in life, you know, and yes, I may be confident about myself. You know, I feel like I'm attractive. I'm handsome too. But you know, you're dealing with a woman of that type of caliber. You will realize that there may be other dudes that are just as successful as you, that have just as much money as you. Hell, some of these chicks, man, you know, they may be dealing with some NBA baller type dudes, man, big time, I don't know, big time drug dealer or athlete, celebrity, man, somebody that just, you know, they're in, a, like I say, they're in a whole nother tax bracket, you know, that's not to say, though, that you can't get her, you know what I'm saying? If you confident in your abilities, you know, and you got that mouthpiece, you know, the right words to say how to make her feel, you can get anybody, you know, that's how you see, like, an uh, average Joe, you like, and you see him with a bad chick on his arm. A lot of times, he just had the confidence and the courage to go up to her and say something. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, these these women like that, man, they look good, they attractive. You see them out and about, you may see her in a club. You know, a lot of dudes may be intimidated. There's been times like that, even myself, where I was like, man, I ain't finna go say nothing to her, man. She cold, though, but I should, but I didn't for one reason or another. I might have been kind of intimidated. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times she wants you to go say something to her. Ain't no dude, you know, had the courage to go up to her and say something. You know, that that one guy that does go up and say something, she's like, man, she giving him all the time in the world. She giving him the time of the day. She want to see what he's talking about, man. He end up bagging her. That's just how the game goes. You know what I'm saying? This is the next thing. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to women like that, you know, and like I said, she got more dudes on her line, right? So you may be trying to court her, you may be trying to get her attention, but it's like it's a lot of back and forth. You feel like she playing games. You feel like, man, you know, you're trying to get her out on a date, you may have finally got her number, or you you know, y'all conversating, but every time you get her to try to go out on a date with you, it's like she got an excuse, she not offering you an alternative date. You know, oh, I can't make it tonight, but can you do Saturday? She just say, nah, I'm not available, you know, this and that. You got to realize the bigger picture, man. And you got to use though that time and, you know, those rejections to work on you. That's what I do. You know, I look back over the years, you know, and uh, a chick may not have been feeling me. You know, I'm trying to get her out. You know, I'm trying to get, we trying to, I'm trying to have a good time. You go, go out to eat, stuff like that. But she just ain't feeling it. So I'm like, okay, cool, man. It's no, it's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? I just use that time to work on me. You know, I'm like, well, shit, I'll just go to the gym or I'll just work on something else, shit like that, you know, and that, once I do that, you know, that's how I know I'm staying productive, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm focused on my life's mission, I'm focused on my passion, my purpose in life, you know, women are attracted to dudes who know what they want out of life, who go after what they want, you know what I'm saying, you know, I, I've seen women like that over the years, you know, they see me, you know, and it's like, now I'm even more locked in on my mission these days, you know, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel to grow, you know, so I don't be having as much time today when it comes to the dating game, you know, courting women, going out, stuff like that, you know, so I'm like, on one end of the uh, the spectrum, 
Even though say I was about to go on a date with a chick, she uh, at the last minute she cancels something like that. I'm like, cool. Now I got more time to work on these videos. You know what I'm saying? On the other end of the spectrum, you know, she like, now man, you you locked in on your mission, man. I admire what you're doing. I like what you're doing. You know, can we let's catch up sometime? Stuff like that. I, that's happened to me over the years. You know, so you just gotta learn how to grow. You gotta go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to force nothing. You know, don't try to uh. You know, go have that simp behavior. I call it simp, simp behavior. You know, you see like a, a, a chick on Instagram, man, she get a thousand comments from these dudes saying like, oh man, I would drink your bath water or, oh man, let me, uh, shit, it'd be some clown shit, man. I'm like, bro, you're never gonna get the time of day acting like that. You can't act thirsty with a chick like that, man. You just boosting her ego up even more. She get a thousand comments like that every day man you got to find a way to stand out uh, another avenue you know what i'm saying you every if every dude that's a thousand dudes doing that you know you're not going to stand out in the sea of fish you know what i'm saying you got to figure out a way to get her attention by another means you know not going out like a simp not going out like a clown you know and then too you know like i said once you you know you try to go approach a female you try to holler at a chick man you can never get bitter you can never get angry when she uh she rejects you or it's like you know she's not feeling you you try to get her number she doesn't give it to you stuff like that or you feel like she's playing games the first time you get angry or mad or you you send her a paragraph long text message saying talking about this and that man all you doing is just pushing her further away, man. Like I said, that simp behavior, you know, you just decreased your value in her eyes. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to play shit cool. You know, sometimes, like I said, in the dating game, you're going to be going back and forth. You're going to be navigating with females. You know, you may feel like they playing games. You may feel like everything you try to do, you know, you feel like everything's going good, but it's like for one reason or another, man, why? Every time I try to hit her up, you know, let's go out and do something, she always say no, this and that, man. You just gotta learn to play that shit cool, you know, and focus on other chicks, you know. Don't don't limit yourself to just one particular female, you know. If you get that, it's called one-nighters, you know, where it's like you just lock in and channel in on one girl no matter what, you know, and it don't work out in the end. You was just wasting time. You could have been devoting towards hollering at other chicks, man. You know, that's like me. If I'm in the club, you know, I go holler at a chick at the bar, you know, I try to buy her a drink or get her number, you know, stuff like that, and she turned me down. I'm like, okay, cool, man. I hope you have a good rest of the night. You know, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time. You know, have a good time, shit like that. And I keep moving. I might go try to holler at another chick, man. It's, she ain't the only chick in there, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty other bad chicks in there, man. You can't have that one night. It's, you can't get locked in on just one person, man. Especially when you out here in the dating game, you single, man. If you do that, man, you selling yourself short. You know, you ain't gonna get, you might should, you ain't gonna get no dates like that. You ain't gonna get no chicks like that, man. You gotta keep a mind of abundance, man. You got, like I said, you gotta think. It's millions of people out here. The right people for you, you know, the right chick, the right women, man, they gonna gravitate towards your life. As long as you focus on you, you play it cool. You not out here on no stalker creep behavior, being a simp. You know, you getting mad at them when they don't they don't uh, respond to your advances or they turn you down, shit like that, man. That's how you win when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, just go and just go meet some other chicks, man. If they feeling you, they feeling you, man. She gonna make it known. A woman, when I've learned this over the years, when a female is feeling you, you know she's not gonna make it hard. You know you you approach her. You know, you come correct, you know, y'all having a conversation and you get her number, you know, you like, let's go out to eat, man. She going to give you a time and date. Like, um, you know, even if she ain't available the day you uh, suggest and she's like, okay, I'm not available this night, but can you do this day? They're not going to make it hard once they feeling you, you know, so you got to learn how to just try to stick to the women that are feeling you, you know, and yeah, she may, she may not be the, uh, the one you want, man, but shit, that's a part of the game, too, you know what I'm saying, you can't always get your way in life, you know, you the chick you may have wanted, you like, damn, she cold, she drop dead gorgeous, she a straight dime, she 11 out of 10, she ain't no 10 out of 10, she 11 out of 10, you know, if you gotta go holler at another chick, and let's say she a 7 or 8 out of 10, man, hey, 
I take my win these days, man. I, you know, I'm at this point now where I take what I can get. You know, I'm not, I ain't pressing the issue, this and that. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I've been in the dating game for years. You know, I've, I've talked to and dated plenty of women at both ends of the spectrum. You know, there's been times where I'm out here, man, I'm going through a drought. You know, chicks I may necessarily not even holler at, man. I'm giving them the time of day, you know, hanging out with them. I'm like, damn, boy, hey, it is what it is. Then there's been times, you know, I done pulled some bad chicks over the years. I'm like, man, I don't know how I did it, but damn, I got her. I bagged them. You know what I'm saying? So once you've been in a dating game long enough, you know, you, you've you seen plenty of women. You know what I'm saying? You know, some are just uh, better looking than others. You know, maybe she got prettier toes. She got a better looking body, prettier face, stuff like that, man. But these days, I just try to focus you know, on the quality of the women I try to hang out with, man, you know, because you got to remember this too, right? You know, she may be bad, you may want her this and that, but every person you see, man, there's probably somebody out there that's an ex that's like, man, I'm glad I don't have to deal with her no more, or I'm glad we broke up, they, they tired of dealing with her shit, you know, so you think like that, man, you have that law of abundance, abundance mindset, you know, you will always do good when it comes to dating, you know, having success in your dating life. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't always gonna go your way, you know? And I don't care who, what dude said what, man. Ain't no dude out here just pulling all dimes, you know? We all had those points in our life, man, where we done pulled some chicks. We may not necessarily be proud that we were talking to, dating, you know, hollering that shit like that. It just is what it is. Hey, ain't, ain't, ain't no shame in my game, you know? I'd have been with some chicks, man. You know, I'm like, shit. You know, I might not necessarily wanna be seen out in public or public with her or something like that, you know, or, you know, if I get, I'm out and my dog run on me, man, we, in a, we on a date, you like, damn, boy, you got a, you was with a big chick, wasn't you, man, you know, I'm like, hey, man, sometimes that's how the game goes, man, I take the win with the loss, I take the good with the bad, you know, but at the end of the day, man, you know, when it's all said and done, when it comes to this dating, navigating the dating scene, man, just at the end of the day, you know, whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad, always focus on you and what you want out of your life, man. You know, don't never put your hobbies, your passions, what makes you happy on the back burner. Just, you know, trying to chase some ass or, you know, trying to navigate this dating scene. You know, the right people, like I say, they're going to come along. They're going to gravitate towards you. They're going to find you. You know, as long as you're confident in your own skin, you go after what you want in life, man. You work on you constantly seeking self-improvement and bettering yourself as a person. You're going to find that you have success when it comes to the dating game. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I've, I've been, like I said, I've been dating. Shit, I'm 35. I'm about to be 35. So I've been in the dating game on and off for damn near probably 15 years. You know, like I said. I, there's been plenty of women, you know, that I, I know for a fact, you know, that I lost out on. You know, either she wasn't feeling me, I wasn't aggressive enough, you know, in pursuing her. I may have gotten her out on a date, and, you know, it, did, it just didn't go nowhere after that. Shit like that. I was trying to pursue her. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you know, I've, I've, there's been plenty of women I've had success with. You know what I'm saying? And there's been uh, women that I may have been but uh, trying to pursue for like two or three years. And I finally was like, man, I just threw the towel in and I moved on with my life. And like a year or two later, they circle the block on me. They come looking for me. You know, they come pop back on the scene. You know, hey, how's things been going, man? How you been doing? How's life been treating you? And I'm like, wow, I forgot all about this chick, man. I ain't think she was feeling me. And I, I don't know, out of the blue, she come out of nowhere. You know, like I said, when a woman wants you, they're gonna make it known. They're not gonna make it hard, you know what I'm saying? So if she playing shit games, you know, you're trying to get her out on a date. You keep you to ask her two, three times. You know, you say, and she doesn't, uh, she doesn't give you an alternative date. She's like, nah, I can't do it. I got this going on. Okay, you wait maybe the next weekend. You want to go do this? Nah, I can't do it. You know, that's how you know, man, she probably ain't the right one for you. You know, you probably want to go focus on another chick, man, or just cut your losses and keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like this video? Make sure you subscribe to my channel at the Ghetto Body. Better follow me on Instagram. TikTok at the Ghetto Body, but I got the merchandise for sale on my website. Shop with me. Y'all got any input, any ideas? What's your thoughts on this video, man? How's your dating life going? Uh, what things do you use that help you to have success in the dating game? You know, you could be, I know I made this video for the fellas, but ladies, 
you can chime in too. You know, I want to shout y'all out, you know, because without y'all, you know, this video wouldn't even be possible. You know, I wouldn't even be making this video. You know what I'm saying? So drop a comment. You got any ideas or com topics for future videos y'all want me to do? Drop that comment too, man. I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated. Boop.